when you do dirt, you can't run no matter how long it is. The truth comes out. And even though it's 30 years later, she has to pay for her crime. That is Raymond Santana right there. He is a member of the Central Park Five, a group of men now being referred to as the Exonerated Five. And he's talking about a woman named Linda Fairstein, a longtime New York City prosecutor. Um, she was a sex crimes prosecutor. She didn't exactly prosecute their case officially, but she oversaw the interrogation. And if you saw When They See Us, or if you saw the PBS documentary on the Central Park Five, you know a lot about her and know that she played a huge part in putting these five at the time little boys behind bars. And now the series on Netflix, Ava DuVernay's docu-series, I guess it's not really a docu-series, just a, a drama series about the Central Park Five. Uh, there's new backlash, renewed backlash against Fairstein and she has been dropping out of boards. She's been sitting on these boards for years and now She's resigning. There are reports that she's being pushed from these boards. But we do know on Tuesday, the president of Vassar College actually posted a letter on its website saying Fairstein had resigned as a board of trustees member, saying this. I am told that Ms. Fairstein felt that given the recent widespread debate over her role in the Central Park case, she believed that her continuing as a board member would be harmful to Vassar. And the Victim Services Agency, Safe Horizon, also confirmed Fairstein's resignation on Tuesday, thanking her for decades of pioneering work on behalf of victims of sexual assault and abuse. Fairstein said she was forced to act due to what she's calling mob mentality reaction to the Netflix series, which led to hashtag cancel Linda Fairstein, a movement on social media that included pledges to withhold donations to Safe Horizon. And she says each of these organizations does great work. She said it's so foolish of bullies <sighs> to punish the charity. She also called it totally pigheaded and stupid. Uh, here's the other side of this because a former Safe Horizon employee said Fairstein's involvement had long been a contentious issue among staffers, but that repeated complaints to the agency's leadership were ignored. And there's a little bit more to this, but I want to get your thoughts. I just want to make a quick point about the use of the phrase mob mentality, mm -hmm. which I see happen over and over again these days, especially among the right wing in America, where one of them will do something that's obviously unethical, immoral, you know, damaging to a certain group of people or a specific person. And then once they face the consequences, the rightful consequences for those actions, they'll go ahead and brush aside the critics as, oh, they're part of a mob mentality. Here's the thing. All things dark come to light. That is one of my favorite quotes. Mm -hmm. I don't know who originally said it, but it's true. What happened to those young men was absolutely disgusting. It destroyed their their you know their, their lives. lives yeah. Period. It destroyed their lives. And more importantly, okay, when you look at our entire justice system, what happened to those young men is is not uncommon. It's not an isolated incident. And there is a systemic issue that needs to be dealt with, and it needs to be dealt with immediately. There is a two tier justice system. We do have a problem with targeting innocent people of color and putting them behind bars when they have not committed a crime. And what do, what that does is not only ruin their lives, but it also allows the real culprit to go out there and commit more crimes, more rape, more murder. And that is certainly what happened in this case. That is absolutely what happened in this case. And we talked about it earlier this week. That is exactly what happened in this case. There is a little, there's a young woman and two young men who don't have their mother anymore exactly. because the real Central Park attacker went on to kill their mother because he was a serial rapist whose DNA was at the crime scene and in not continuing to look for who actually did it. And you know, from all accounts, except for fair stains, mm -hmm. the all of the evidence led to one attacker. Not five. That's right. That's right. And also, look, I know it's human nature to want to get defensive when mm -hmm. you've been wrong, but it would be far more, I think, <clears throat> not admirable, that's for sure, but at least it would be respectful to come forward and say, you know what? I had biases that got in the way of me doing my job effectively. I feel horrible that this is what happened to these young men. I apologize. But she doesn't want to apologize. She doesn't want to take 
uh, any type of accountability or responsibility for what she did. And I think that you know, <laughs> facing these consequences, it's just what you should expect after you did your do- job so poorly that it really did ruin these young men's lives. Yeah, and let's get to a little bit of her reaction because you know, Ava DuVernay, she put together um, this four episode series on Netflix about these men and telling a lot of different aspects of the story that we don't talk about, that we have a lot of information that we haven't really heard about. And she wanted everyone involved, she wanted to hear, she wanted to be able to talk to everyone involved. I think most of this was built upon the actual facts and then firsthand accounts of the experiences of these men who were children at the time. But Ava actually said, she reached out to Linda Fairstein and Linda Fairstein tried to negotiate. She said, I don't know if I've told anyone this, but she tried to negotiate conditions for her to speak with me, including approvals over the script and some other things. So you know what my answer was to that, we didn't talk. So she had an opportunity to mm-hmm. you know, somewhat play a part in this and to be honest and to be sorry. And she didn't, and Raymond Santana, we, you saw him earlier in this segment, but we're gonna go back to him because he's talking about a little bit about how she has not apologized. She has continuously repeated the same narrative. There has been no correction on her behalf whatsoever. She has actually changed her story, I think at one point to saying, okay, yes, DNA proves Mateus Reyes was at the scene mm-hmm. and committed the rape, but I think those other boys were involved. What? It's ridiculous, but take a look at what he has, what else he has to say. You know, she has to pay the consequence. And, and you know, back in 1989, when we were given these sentences, these sentences weren't just prison sentences, they, we were given a social death. You know, Trump wanted to execute us, um, and, and it's through the grace of God that we're here today. So at the end of the day, I'm not looking for an apology, and I think my brothers aren't either, but it's out of our hands. And I think that touches on a little bit of what you're saying, how Mm -hmm. this didn't just um, put them in jail for a few years, this ruined their entire lives. Absolutely, absolutely. One of these little boys was sent to men's prison. What we know is, you know, what's more dangerous, and than, and you know, and not only you know the, what this did in terms of putting them in prison and and robbing them of any opportunity they could have had in, in having a great life, but it also, you know, I'm sure traumatized them as as people who were interrogated in the way that they were, mm-hmm. right? Like those interrogations, their parents weren't it's able to get their in touch families. With them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And imagine, imagine. Knowing that there are people in your life, you know, possibly friends, possibly family members, who bought the narrative that you committed this crime, right? right? So I just many people can't did. imagine what they yeah. went through. I, I can't imagine. So, look, the only group of people I've seen stand by Fairstein are her publishers. Mm-hmm. She writes children's books, and so they're standing by her side and, and refusing to, you know are gonna continue doing business with her. It is what it is, but for the consequences she is facing today, I think they're well deserved. Yeah. And honestly, they're disproportionate in comparison to what the Central Park Five or the Central Park, you know, what, what did you say, exonerated? Exonerated Five. Yeah, the exonerated yeah, five nice. had had to go through. Yeah, I agree, this is nothing. Definitely. And you were saying something earlier about how like, it, I think it's human nature to get defensive. But we're not talking, and I think that's right, mm-hmm. the thing is that I think it is also, it should be human nature when, because you know, like, um, depending on who you're talking to, when someone you love Mm -hmm. calls you out on something, you get defensive, but it is easier to listen. That's right. Right? That's right. And so I think weigh that with um, just kind of, what am I trying to say? Just the the, the level of of what has happened to these boys and just having that on your heart as an outsider. We're seeing what happened to them and our hearts going out to them. And so it's bizarre to me that she can't even. As much as you want to be defensive, just look at what they went through. Yeah, and you didn't. You just made me think of something. You know, you're right. When people we know and trust come to us with, let's say, a criticism or a critique, yeah, we might get defensive, but we're more open to listening to yeah. what they have to say and changing our behavior. This kind of signals to me, and I know this is a little bit of speculation, that the people surrounding her have never really called her out or held her accountable for the way she handled that case. Mm-hmm. And again, that goes back to the systemic issues that really need to be looked at.
For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.